I bought this beautiful vintage 135 millimeter lens at an antique store for 30 bucks, and I used it to capture video like this. Stay tuned to see how I did it. Hi guys, Sean here with PhotodeoxPro.com. I recently picked up this wonderful little Soligor 135mm f2.8 T-mount lens at an antique store, and it was only $30. It was, it was a steal. I love the images I've been able to create with this lens. It takes beautiful photos. And just check out this smooth manual aperture control. So sweet. Shooting wide open at f2.8 with this lens is easy with fast shutter speeds and I was able to capture some nice shallow depth of field photos with it. But I also wanted to shoot video with this lens and keep the shutter speed at around 1 50th of a second on a Sony a7R II. Now I could have bought some ND filters to screw on the front of this lens to help me shoot wide open with it, but instead I used our Photo Deox Canon to Sony E-mount ND throttle adapter, which has a built-in variable ND filter. Then all I had to do was mount my lens on a Photo Deox T-mount to EOS adapter, double stack the adapter on the ND throttle, and mount it on my Sony camera. The built-in variable ND filter in our ND throttle adapter adjusts from 1 to 8 stops of neutral density, cutting the light entering your lens. This means you can shoot with your lens's widest aperture, even in bright sunlight, allowing you to capture beautiful shallow depth of field video like this. Pairing this vintage $30 lens with these two adapters, plus the Sony a7R II, made for a great combo. And if you'd like to see the full short film that I made with this setup, click here. Click here to learn more about the ND throttle that we talked about in today's video. And also click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more videos just like this one. I'm Sean with Photo Deox. Thanks for watching.